Introducing the Scorpion, a brand new 9mm machine pistol coming to all battlegrounds. This pistol's 20 round default capacity can be increased to 40 rounds with a standard extended magazine, but it cannot support other magazines such as the Quick Draw and Extended Quick Draw. While it has a lower per bullet damage than other pistols, the Scorpion comes with the option to switch from single fire to full auto, and is the first pistol to feature slots for a grip and stop to help you control its spray. Just don't expect it to be too accurate beyond 50 meters. The Scorpion is most effective in early close quarters engagements, but can work later in the game as a pocket SMG, leaving your primary weapon slots open for more powerful long and mid-range weapons. If you're able to kit it out with the right attachments, of course. If you're looking for a quick, full auto option to start your match, or a reliable close range alternative later in the game, pick up a Scorpion next time.
Introducing the MP5K, a brand new Vikendi exclusive submachine gun chambered for 9mm ammunition. Once this gun is released, the vector will no longer spawn on Vikendi. While the firing mechanics of the MP5K are similar to those of the vector, it boasts a higher per bullet damage, but with a lower overall firing weight and DPS. This SMG also has a higher magazine capacity than the Vector, starting at 30 rounds by default, with 40 rounds in an extended magazine. The MP5K is highly versatile with single, burst, and full auto firing options, and has slots for all attachment types, including a tactical stock. When kitted out with the right attachments, the MP5K is a reliable short-range weapon for early to mid-game fights, but can hold its own when fully kitted out in the endgame. If you need the attachment versatility of an advanced AR, but the short-range reliability of a standard SMG. Try picking up the MP5K on your next drop. Just now, Bizfarts, the same guy who found out how to get into the Vikendi cave, made a Reddit leaks post on the Erangel update. But keep in mind that Raskalica and Krapple are other contributors to this information as well. In that same post, 600 of these newly added red structures are the same buildings you will find just about everywhere, but duplicated across the map. Some of these, like these rocks here, might have been added by accident. Some interesting places to point out is this bridge area here, which looks like it might be covered up now, or maybe it's turned into a dam. They also added a driving ramp at the south side of Jargopo Bridge. Other changes to point out are, Shooting Range has a line of warehouses now, which by the way looks like it has its landscape changed into more of a cliff than a hill. And the area around Quarry has a massive change as well, including landmark changes. Map however locates every single tier 3 building on the map. There's a massive improvement as compared to before. Lastly, there's a heat map for changes made into the landscape, which are mostly slight flattening of hills to make sure there are room for new buildings. Changing all over again. Yeah, we will keep on changing. 